Hello friends, welcome to Rootle Buddies with Nosh. My DIY today is purely on trial and error basis. I've never tried this before, it's my first time. Um, so there are three parts to this uh, DIY. The first being, I'm going to recycle a chickpea scan into a flower vase. Um, I love the uh, texture and color of terracotta. And in order to give that effect uh, to the can, what I'm doing is I'm going to add uh, some some of the white uh, bare paint, which I just put down. And uh, next I'm going to add a little bit of acrylic paint. And then I'm going to add a little bit of chalk paint. Right now what I'm, yeah, that's the one, the acrylic paint. Now in order to get the, um, in order to get the terracotta effect or the color, uh, I did not have orange or a deeper color or shade of orange. So I've got this, um, I've got the chalk paint, which is in uh, camel color, and that's the one I'm going to use. It's by Americana Decor, and it's got a chalk finish as well. So it's, I was hoping that it would do the job. However, I've added a couple of times, and I still felt that it was it was uh, quite light. However, so uh, the ingredient that's going to give it the texture is the baking powder. That's what's going to give it the texture. Uh, so I'm going to add quite a bit of that, almost uh, half of half of the uh, the paint that I've added. Quite so once the baking powder is added, it starts reacting with the uh, with the paint, and uh, that's how the the texture is formed. It would take a little bit time, not too much. Um, I'm trying to actually what I'm doing right now is trying to get the color that I was looking for. However, it's not been that easy. It took me a couple of more tries to to uh, to get the the color that I wanted. If you keep stirring it, it almost becomes uh, frothy. Um, this, uh, it's, it's smooth, but it's a little bit frothy. This wasn't exactly the color I was going for, but I wanted to apply it nevertheless and see how it would look. It's almost peach, uh, but a very, very pretty one, but it's peach, and I wanted terracotta, which would have to be more deep and more uh, more on the sides of uh, a mixture of brown and um, brown and orange. But this was more pink, uh, pink or peachish pink. So that's my test subject over there being painted. The other two which are on the right side, they are for another project. Uh, for subject. So um, because I wasn't getting the color I wanted, and this was too pink or too peach, so I decided that I'm going to add a little bit of black um, to get a mud color. And I probably have to suffice with that. So yeah, I've added uh, some amount of black, and you can see the, the change in the color. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. The texture was fabulous. Absolutely, it was fabulous. It, it really kind of... Uh, made it look like terracotta, although it's not. It made it look like terracotta, the the feel and the texture once it dried. I've given it two coats. This is the first coat that I'm giving. Very muddy look. I've given I'm going to leave that to dry 
And meanwhile, the next uh, part of this uh, project or this DIY will start, which is uh, using the egg uh, egg tray to uh, make flowers. Now, these are going to be different flowers, not like the one that we made for for our wreath. Uh, this one is going to be um, a flower base for the cotton plant. So I, I meant to make it smaller. I meant to make it thinner. But once I started cutting it off, I realized that if I cut it too much, it wouldn't be able to uh, stick and it won't be able to hold the, the cotton bud either. So um, that's the size I preferred then. It doesn't have to look perfect anyway because it's, it is, after all, a plant. So yeah, I'm making uh, slitting, uh, slitting, three, uh, slitting four ends in between uh, to give it the the uh, base for the cotton plant. The so eventually, this is how it's going to look. <coughs> That's how it's going to look. I might make it a little bit more thinner. These are the previous ones that I had uh, I had already done before. I'm going to make them uh, because I had earlier given them. Uh, a more oval shape. <coughs> and here are the uh, the cotton balls that we had got from Dollar Tree. So I, for some of them, I've used the entire ball, but for some of them, I've also divided it and uh, placed half of it in one and half on the other one. So what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue inside it and then I'm going to add it. But the first step would be to um, to somehow erect these uh, branches from my backyard, which my son got for me. So I'm just going to find a way to erect them in the, in the base, in the can. You know, a lot of the packing material that we generally tend to throw can be recycled. So recently we had bought a water filter system and I saved the white foam that uh, comes with the packaging material. And, um, and I'm using that uh, to give a foam base to my branches in the can. So I'm just going to measure it right now um, to make it firm. It has to be really snug. If it's not, the branches will move off uh, from the place, so we don't want that. Now once I've, uh, once I've stuffed it in there, I have left roughly a centimeter of space on the top to add the moss and the pebbles. Then I used my, uh, my blade to uh, poke a hole and I've managed to um, squeeze the, the branches in, in there, like so. I have added a little bit of hot glue at the bottom of those holes so that they can adhere even more firmly. Now once I'm uh, comfortable with that, I'm, I'm going to add the uh, moss. This green moss is uh, also come from uh, Dollar Tree. Yeah, and I'm going to add that at the base. And now we are going to start with the uh, the third phase or part of this uh, DIY, 
which is to adhere the uh, egg carton base to the branches. And we are going to decide uh, where do you want to, I mean, there are roughly around 9 to uh, 10 of those, uh, uh, the egg carton base of flowers. I know with so many things in the background, uh, you may not be able to figure out where the uh, the flowers are. But I have, uh, yeah, I have, what I've done is I've poked a hole in the base and uh, added a whole lot of glue to the base and uh, then stuck it there on the branch. And then I've added the, the cotton ball. And I've done that for everyone. And it, for some of them, I was lucky because I had a small kind of a tiny branch popping out and I could just stick it in there. So that was much more easier. And uh, that's how I, I think I stuck around nine or ten of them. And um, there you can see how it's looking. Stuck around. So once the, uh, once the flowers were adhered, um, what I did is I took up some, uh, some other flowers which I got from the yellow ones which I got from Dollar Tree and uh, it was a set of four and I placed them exactly with, with, these, uh, with these branches but at a lower level. And to finish it off, um, I dry brushed uh, the can with some uh, white chalk paint and tied a twine around it. And this is how it looked eventually. I think it looks good. I'm happy with the look. Um, I learned uh, a new technique, so I'm very happy with that as well. And uh, I hope you enjoy it too. I hope you might want to give it a try. And if you do, please do share your photographs. And um, please don't forget to subscribe. Thank you very much.